Hello and welcome to the channel. Now on today's very special video, I'm going to give you a tour of this. So this beast is a monitor that is specifically designed for the PS5 and it also has a few tricks up its sleeve. It is well worth the price tag as it is extremely well made and it screams quality. So stick around as I show you how good this bespoke PS5 monitor is as we turn up the lights, put this down on the tech desk and show off this, the 4K integrated PS5 monitor from G-Story. Hello, welcome down onto the tech desk. And as we said in the introduction, we're going to be looking at this today. So this is an integrated monitor for the PS5. Now we're gonna go through all the different parts of this. So what I'll do is I'll leave timestamps below so you can go to the most part that you want to see, uh, the one that interests you the most. But we're gonna start off with the box contents of what you actually get. Now clearly you obviously get the monitor, but you also get a few extras as well. You get the instruction manual. This is very handy because there's lots to it. Um, again, we'll talk about that later. Uh, you get a nice remote with a couple of batteries as well, which is good. Um, again, we'll talk about this remote later on. You also get yourself a short HDMI cable, which is absolutely perfect for linking the PS5 up with the uh, monitor. And you also get a power cable. And then finally, I got this as well included. Now this is a stand. So if you didn't want to use the official uh, PlayStation stand that comes with this, the round one, you can use this. And the way that this works is if you wanted to use it in uh, portrait mode, you kind of link all three of those bits together. Then if you wanted to do it in um, landscape mode, you pull that bit off, you screw that one on, it's got a couple of feet there, and then you click this one onto the top, so it kind of has the two feet like that, so it sits on your desk like that. But I've been just using the official one, but it's nice to have this included, and you can use this if you want to. And then that's it, that's everything that comes with it completely comprehensive you don't need anything more to get going with it so what we're gonna now is we're gonna go over it and we're just gonna back talk about the build quality and it's phenomenal okay so it feels it feels quite like it's 1.4 kilograms which seems like quite heavy but nothing compared to the size of this so when you've got this on top of this you know it's heavy anyway so it's going to be heavy but look at the, the, the quality is superb it just matches the PS5. This matches the PS5 superbly with the white. And this black bit here as well, the shiny fingerprint magnet matches it as well. Absolutely phenomenal. And then if you didn't know, th this bit here is part of the monitor and this replaces this uh, panel of the PS5 and we'll, we'll talk about that in a bit. And I was worried about the hinges. I've been using this for a while, but no, the hinge, the hinge has been fine. It's still stiff and it still stays open as much as you need it to. And then when you go in, again, the build quality in here is superb and the buttons are nice and clicky. I just think it's a very, very well-made piece. Very well engineered. So on the front, we have a couple of connections. We have some headphone jacks. If you want to use headphones, if you haven't got any pulses or you don't want to use the integrated speakers, couple of headphone jacks in there that's just for the uh, the infrared don't worry about that and then spinning over on the back we have the where the power goes in and then we have a 4k at 60 4k at 30 now everywhere you read that will be 1080 and that will be 4k so when you're playing your ps5 stick it into that one and if you're going to be playing anything else which we'll talk about later stick it into that one which is number one and then opening it up what we have in here we have two speakers they're 2.5 watts i'll do a, a sound test later on um, i think you'll be surprised about how good these speakers actually sound a um, couple of rubber feet there for when the uh, screen falls down it just sits on these rubber pads keep it nice and secure and then we have the buttons here we have menu source enter left right and then power so when you fold it down it won't turn off so you have to do that and remember to do that every time. And if we go over the remote next, so here we have a very basic remote, nice to have the, the batteries included. So we have power, source, mute, um, up, down, left and right, and then OK. And then we have F1, P and F2, which are kind of shortcuts for various functions on the screen. And then menu, exit, 
and then scale. Now speaking of the menu, what we're going to do is, I'm going to be talking about the menu later. I'm not going to go through everything on the menu because there's quite an exhaustive list. I'll just list it out, but that'll be on later. But nice and responsive, as long as you're pointing it at the, the infrared bit there on the monitor, no problem at all. It's nice and clicky and very responsive. So a really nice remote included. Next up, we're going to talk about how to fit it onto your PS5. As I said on the bottom here, it has these hooks, which are exactly the same as underneath here. So, so if I grab the PS5 here and take it off its stand, you get the side with the P logo and you pop that up. So if you don't know how to do that, you lift it up at the top and push it that way. So up and that way, and it just comes off. And you see that the hooks there match these identically. So put this somewhere safe. And then all you're going to do is reverse the process. Plonk it on and then clip it up that way. There we go. We're in. Get your stand, whichever one you want. If you wanted the one that was included in the, in the box or if you wanted the, the um, included stand, make sure you've got it in the right orientation for landscape mode. And then where the PS logos are on the side, push that on. There we have it, and then put it back down, and there we do. We have it. Your monitor's ready to go on your PS5. And let's take a look at how well this fits. It's just stunning. Absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so once you've done that, that's it. It's fully fitted, you don't need to do anything else. You just need to plug in the power, plug in the HDMI, make sure it's in port two for 4K and into the HDMI of your PS5. So let's talk about some of the features of the monitor. Um, it has a viewing angle of 178 degrees, which is brilliant. And as we've said before, it has 4K, 1080. It also has things like FreeSync, HDR, um, OD. And what I'm gonna do is again, I'm gonna go through the menu after this and I'm just gonna show you a list of what it has. So if I pop up this menu, what I'll do is I'll just show you, cause I'm not gonna go through everything because it, there's loads of it. What I'll just do is I'll give you a few seconds just so you can look down and just go and see what you can change from the screen and from the speakers. Then once you've set that up to how you like it, um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna show you some examples of this running on the PlayStation 5. Okay, so sit back, have a look. I'll leave information down below on the bottom of the screen of just what is you're actually seeing on the screen. So enjoy.
I think we can agree that is absolutely phenomenal. I think it looks stunning, okay? But not only does it look stunning, it sounds great as well. From these tiny little speakers, it sounds fantastic. So again, what I'm gonna do, just gonna let this run for a bit and we're just gonna have a sound test. Now the, the mic was about 30, 40 centimeters away from this, not very far at all. And I won't have adjusted it at all. I've just been play playing it straight out of camera. steeped in tradition and when they lock horns the sparks tend to fly stay tuned and we'll bring you all the action from Stamford Bridge as Chelsea take on Arsenal Stamford Bridge is the venue I must say the weather has certainly cooperated it's beautiful here today my name is Derek Gray positions here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me ready to give you all the analysis is Stuart Robson and very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Chelsea versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central. Jorginho! So let me know your thoughts on that. How did that sound? I think it sounds absolutely superb. I wouldn't have a problem using these at all if I didn't have any headphones. Okay, next up, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to be showing you, we're gonna flick this over to the, the second source, the 1080, and we're gonna show you how it runs the Nintendo Switch. So again, I'm just gonna leave this running just so you can have a look uh, about how it runs and how it looks on the Nintendo Switch.
There we have it then. We've gone through it all, we've gone through the build, we've gone through the uh, the features, the menu, how it looks, how it sounds, and how it looks for another device as well. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below of what you think of this. I'll leave links down below where you can get this. This is well worth the money. If you're gonna be using Traveling, because I know G-Story do a case as well for carrying it, it fits in that beautifully. I think if you're gonna be taking this away with you, I think it's phenomenal. If you've got a couple of plug sockets of where you're going, superb. So there we have it then, that was my look. That was my look at this, the integrated monitor. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts on this. Um, this is one of the best products I've ever shown on the channel. I think this is absolutely phenomenal. Um, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do subscribe, do stick a thumbs up until the next video. Bye-bye.